Hello, you're watching video three of the QuickBooks Connector tool series. In this video, we're going to be running the application and going through a couple of the preferences on how to in, in, import uh, a few invoices from Presswise right into QuickBooks. Um, if you want to watch video one and video two on how to download and install the connector in the setup wizard, uh, please see the video links in the attached uh, knowledge base article. Thank you. So here is the Presswise to QuickBooks connector shortcut. We have already gone through the setup wizard so at this point all we're going to do is go ahead and run the application and we land on the Presswise to QuickBooks connector um, landing page. There's a little bit here about support question, support, um, additional support information and questions um, it also will show you here the version number of the current um, copy of, of the connector on your system and if there is any problems with your internet connection. Um, this is important. The application is an application that sits on your desktop and connects to your Presswise server. So if your um, location is experiencing any network problems, then that can have some effect on transferring the data from Presswise into your QuickBooks company file. Okay. Uh, I should point out that there's a help button down here. You can go ahead and click that for additional information. There's also this small box here that's the settings file. If we go ahead and click on that, there's a few things that I want to point out here. The important ones are going to be this QuickBooks debug. Right now this is set to, to false what I want to point out is if you ever have any trouble importing an invoice into QuickBooks and don't understand what's going on, I would recommend enabling this to true, possibly even turning on the diagnostic log level from normal to advanced. This is going to capture as much information about the connection process between the connector tool and QuickBooks and record in a log any in, any issues that have come up for some reason or another. Um, in those of cases, just copy the log file and paste it into a text file. Email that text file over to support at presswise.com and from there we will walk you through or try to assist you in any way that we can to get that specific invoice imported into QuickBooks. Okay, So for now I'm going to just set that back. Um, I also like to mention these two preferences down here at the bottom. So on occasion, Presswise will have um, a finishing method, for instance, customer pickup or delivery, where there is no shipping charges whatsoever being applied. Um, I have had some customers want to still have a line item on the QuickBooks invoice showing that a shipping line was there for you know will call or customer delivery even if it didn't have a sale price of you know something that was being captured five dollars for delivery or whatever it was just zero dollars for delivery but you still want to show that line item on the invoice in QuickBooks you would come and enable this and set this to true um, I don't have a, a, a percentage of how many customers use this or not but it seems that I, it's almost like a 50/50 I would have to guess um, but you know it, it really depends on your preference so I'm gonna set this to false on mine um, I tend to use this option here download all invoices all of the time and what I mean by this is I set this well right now the default is set to true what this means is it's going to download the connector is going to pull every single invoice that's in the Presswise accounting queue into the connector tool and then allow you to import those into QuickBooks. In most cases, customers don't want to download every single invoice that's in the accounting queue because they haven't verified it yet. So we have an option in Presswise. Let me just swing on over to Presswise real quick and go to the accounting queue. So the accounting queue can be found under the orders tab, quick links, accounting queue. You could also uh, make this URL a favorite in your browser to save a couple steps if you will. So the, the 
option that I'm talking about is this invoice verified option. You can see here that I have one invoice that has an invoice verified date. And all that we're doing with that connector tool preference is looking to see if an order in this queue has a date. And if it does, then we're going to go ahead and pull it. Um, if it doesn't, then we would go ahead and just leave the connector tool set to true and download every invoice that we see in that accounting queue. So I want to be very specific and just say that I only want to download invoices that have that invoice verified date to the connector. So I am actually going to set this to false. Hit save and now in the connector tool when I go ahead and start this those preferences are going to be enabled. If you so let me just go ahead and proceed. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We can see that the connector is communicating with Presswise and it downloaded one um, invoice to the connector tool. It's This invoice is not in QuickBooks at this point. It's only in the connector tool and that's that invoice number here, 283 or order number if you will, is the order number that we see here in, in this line one that has that verified date. Again, if I click on the second item and give it a, a verified date and return back to the connector tool now and trigger a new download, you will down, it, the connector tool will download both invoices. Again, just to the connector tool. Both of these are ready to now import into QuickBooks if I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that at this point. Since both of them are selected, um, both of them have a status of ready and um, there's not much else for me to do here. So I can go ahead and go ahead and hit the import button. It's going to scan the customer, check with QuickBooks to see if that customer is in, in the company file, check to see if this invoice already exists in that QuickBooks company file. And if it does, it will return some type of an alert. Um, maybe even if this was a payment, the payment would be applied to the invoice that was already in QuickBooks. In this example, all I'm showing is that these two invoices were not in the company file in QuickBooks, so these two invoices were imported um, using the connector tool. Um, I should point out that once you see a status of imported, what that means is that the two orders in Presswise have been marked to closed. So if I refresh this browser page, I will see that those two invoices have been removed here. Um, and if I actually go and do a search for those, that, those invoices, I will see that it's been marked as closed. And if I also look at the history of that order, I can see that who closed that job was the Presswise to QuickBooks connector tool and what time that order was closed. Um, so now let's go to QuickBooks real quick. Let's go to the customer. And in the customer list, I can see that I have those two invoices in there. So if I double click on the invoice, I can see that the invoice has been pulled in, PO information, uh, terms, et cetera, et cetera, all pulled from the Presswise, company, uh, the Presswise setup. Um, I can see here that we have um, this product has been um, mapped to the Indigo service product in QuickBooks. That Indigo product is being tracked by a sales account or, or GL account called Sales Subaccount Digital. So for those customers that want um, a little bit more tracking of their income, they can use that feature to allow them to track a little bit deeper. So I'm looking at the, the chart of accounts in QuickBooks and if I drill down into sales and well if I drill into sales I'm gonna see every single line item that has been created in a QuickBooks invoice and see how it's broken out so I can see that the sub account digital has sales of hundred and fifty two dollars and fifty one cents other sales that are just kinda of being thrown into just the generic uh, top level of sales is being tracked by um, by grouping them all into this other account here so with that being said, we have um, just imported uh, two invoices into QuickBooks from Presswise, closed those invoices as well, all in one swoop. Um, I do want to show you how to apply a payment if that's an interest to you. So for example, this one order, 283 in Presswise, 
I will use the payment um, page here. I'm just going to say that I received a check from, let's just go ahead and put my name of Raul Garcia. Um, I can put in a check number of 777 and record that check payment. What that does is add a um, log here in the transaction here's history showing that that transaction was recorded. It will also, if I hit refresh here, trigger this option of ready for accounting export. It places this closed order back into the accounting queue so that it can be exported again to, uh, to QuickBooks. So again, if I return back to the accounting queue, I now see that this order is back in the accounting queue. Status is closed, giving me an idea that this is most likely a payment. So now if I return back to the connector tool and hit download again, it's pulling that payment now and we can see that it's a, a status of payment and it's going to be associated with this invoice of 180, uh, 283 in QuickBooks as soon as we import it. So now that I have it selected, I can go ahead and hit import and it will apply that payment to that invoice in QuickBooks. So now it's imported. I can return to QuickBooks, again, return to that customer, and I can see here that I have a payment with, um, let's see, let's actually open that up here, um, that shows the, the company file, uh, the amount that was paid, et cetera, and which invoice was applied to it. Um, so again, close that window. Now let's go ahead and open invoice 283 and we can see here that um, there's no balance due, that the invoice has been marked paid in QuickBooks. So with that done, um, with that said, I should say, um, that's basically the QuickBooks connector tool. Um, if you have any additional questions or have uh, any concerns on, uh, on the setup, let us know, please. Again, email support at presswise.com. And thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.